everybody how are you today i'm gonna show you a super cool cute design perfect for line twist it's just two balloon design and this video i want to dedicate it especially to judy judy let me see your name is walkman judy walkman thank you so much i received your package right here i'm gonna show you quickly where it is it's the blue tool <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call. And the thing is, it's great. I have now a second one. But uh, and with that, that will be enough because I already have one. I'm gonna show you. And now I have another one, which is cool because I can have one probably in my case, the thing, the one that I take to my parties, and one here to keep it in the house. And I think with this will be enough. <laughs> no more of these tools. I think I'm I'm okay, I'm perfect with those. Thank you so much because with this. You know, it's the perfect way to put it in the balloon and add things like confetti, like, you know, those things to decorate the, the Easter baskets, these things. So thank you so much. I'm going to put it one side. And now let's, let me show you this super cute design. Look at this. It's a very fast line twist balloon design with only two balloons. One five inch round. And look at that face. You can put even cheeks here and make it even cuter. Why not? I'm gonna see how that is gonna look. Let me see what happens if I put here. Cheek. And I'm gonna show you the, and there you go, look. This is a very cute fish, perfect for a line twist. And it's a small one and I think it's fine. I like cute things, not that big because the thing is, I want to try to keep more five inch round balloons and not the big ones, but because the 12 inch round for balloon twisters occupies more space. And the thing is, I don't have, you know, those super cool. This is a, a tool I have from Rome Flower. It's the first one. So it doesn't have pockets in the back. And that's kind of a bummer. I know there is more um, other new ones, but with this, with those pockets, I can fit lots of balloons. The thing is, I don't, I wish I can have more pockets. So I can add, you know, more other type of balloons anyways. But this is the thing now, I'm going to show you. You will need, a, I use that picture that I saw on Google Clip Art. So what I just typed was cute fish clip art. And that's the first one. So I said, oh, this one, it's the one. So let's do that. Yep, you will need a five inch round purple or any color. And maybe you can play with a second color, different color. But the thing is, for me, I'm using two colors the same size. 160 purple, 5 inch round purple. Uh, like this. So let's um, inflate them. You will need to inflate your 160 purple approximately. What is this? 8 or 7 finger tail. That's going to be good enough. Okay. And then you're gonna inflate your five inch round. Again, it's always a good idea if you inflate all the way to five inch round. That way we make sure it doesn't have any hole. And then you inflate it, kind of the idea of the palm of your hands. You're gonna tie it very close to the nozzle, but you will see what we're gonna do in a moment. So look, you have this, okay? Now from here, we have to um, make here a bubble. So how, while you squish the air, you will be able to do this. Okay, just a bubble there, twist it. And now you connect the 160 around. And then you make a little loop, like no more than two finger loop and twist it. Okay, now when you have that, let me see. Um, you can uh, go up all the way to like this. This is kind of the idea, look. You're gonna have it like this. Now, you have to measure approximately the idea from here is like you see it, not on top, I like more this way. So how long is that? It's gonna be like, like seven finger long, okay? Seven finger long, and then you're gonna twist, and you're gonna make a very small, like, I don't know what's the name, it's not flints, um, there, are what? That thing on top. <laughs> you measure like two finger bubble, another, the other one is three finger bubble. Then you're gonna make two pinch twists. So 
So two finger bubble, three finger bubble, twist it together. Then uh, one finger bubble, pinch twist, and another one finger bubble, pinch twist. Okay. And then from here, you're gonna kind of like, look, remember we squish the air to this part, you squish it. Now we're gonna kind of loose it because we're, we're gonna this way. So look all this that I'm squishing. I'm gonna show you this way. You see, I'm now losing the air there and you're gonna go this way, measure right there. So that's four finger bubble. Okay, when you have that, you twist it together, pass it maybe one time around this long piece. Now we have a long piece here and this is a idea to, I think it's a really cool idea. You're gonna pull and then you're gonna take it all the way up to the, the mouth. So you're gonna pull and you're gonna take it all the way up to the mouth. You're gonna pass it a little bit around and you're going to make sure the nozzle of the five inch round now it's in the center. So it's kind of hiding there. But look at this idea, how the shape of, you know, it's accommodated there. And in a moment you will see how we can cover this little hole there. Now from there, you're gonna make two pinch twists one, two, two pinch twists, and then you're gonna measure what is this? Um, like let's go with very small, I don't want this too big. Maybe three finger bubble, okay? Three or four finger bubble, and then one a little bit longer. So that's gonna be like five finger bubble, and you're gonna twist it together. You see, like three finger bubble and five finger bubble, twist it together, and you're gonna do that one more time. Three finger bubble and five finger bubble goes all the way. That's it. And then with the rest, look, you're gonna cut it. But you, when you cut it, you just need to leave approximately no more than what is gonna be this six finger bubble. No more than that, okay? So why? Because even if you leave there six finger bubble, you're gonna lose some air to tie it. So the idea is you have like two and a half finger bubble in each side when you split it in half. And with the rest, this part, in case with a, one, with a five inch round, you don't, are not able to do this, you can do it with this part, okay? With the rest of the 160. But I just want uh, to kind of make this faster, yes, that way. Now, the rest, this, this is what I do. I split it in half. This is approximately six finger bubble. Okay, six finger bubble. You kind of twist it in half. Twist it, twist it, twist it. And then you're gonna just pass one side. This is this is the bottom. You're gonna pass one side. Open it a little bit, push inside, and accommodate those. And just leave it there. You can also bend it like this way. Look, I'm bending in half. I'm just grabbing and bending, and and that's kind of op optional, but I think it's gonna look cute that way. So you have that, you can cut the excess. Oh my goodness, my fish fell. <laughs> I had to break it up. Okay, it's here. I saved it. Now you cut and there we go. The design is ready. You can put this down like this or you can play it because it had a little angle. You can play it once, whatever you prefer is better. But the thing I think that this looks great. You see, that's the idea. Now, short time. oh wait, this little hole, look, the pinch twist we just made, we're gonna put it now, instead of a horizontal, we're gonna put it in vertical now. And that's gonna help to cover that little hole. And you think that's awesome? And you think this is so cute? I love it. I think it's gonna be perfect for my new um, balloon menu. Now, what else we can do here? Short time, and I think this is kind of fast, easy. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. We just make big circle, and remember, if you're in a hurry, you can just leave it the way it is, but... And then, when you make those big circles, you just kind of like come and pew, do that. And the same the other side. Okay? If you have a white sharp and you feel that you have time, you can cover that side in between this color. I'm gonna show you. And it's only if you think you have time. Okay, now the other side the same. 
and this you know sometimes sharp is like things that takes longer but it's helped you know it all depends if you have time you want to try the sharpie the, the little cheeks why not let's try the cheeks okay we have cheeks we we can even have a circle inside so this is up to you how cute you want to do this and then even you can even put a lashes if you want why not a little too lash you can even put some eyebrows all the details you want but something that is cool and important i think are the scales how you call that and this is the cool thing you just put your fish like that it's like L letter e's in cursive letter e's one two three you see so you have to kind of make three lines of that and just like that now letter E is the other side, it's the same. You grab your balloon and make letter E. Make sure you have a, a strong Sharpie, mm, but that's kind of the idea. My Sharpie is not working so well, uh, but this is the idea and I think it's so cute. If you still have time, you can always make with a 160 balloon a lot of little bubbles coming out. That will be a cool thing, but I hope you like I think this is great. It's a very cute design. You can see in both sides. It looks awesome. And it's only two balloon design. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do it because I have lots of cool, awesome tutorials that have very cool techniques, ideas for balloon twisters. And I have fast designs, but I also have complicated or challenging designs that you can practice, you know, your techniques and learn more about balloon twisting. If you would like to collaborate with this channel to make it much better, how to do that? Check, check up on the description of all my videos. I have there my address. You can send me balloons. I will appreciate it. You can also collaborate with money, send it to my Vimo account or my PayPal account. It will be very well appreciated because that way I can make you know, my channel better. I can feel more motivated to share ideas and also another way to collaborate with this channel is visit my Amazon wish list. It's in the description of all my videos. And if you click there on my Amazon wish list, you will see all the things that I see on Amazon that I think, oh, I would love to have that here in my balloon room. And also, you know, there is more balloons because that's the things I need more balloons so I can practice more and then I can share all the, you know, discoveries or ideas that I, you know, kind of like have by practicing. Well, have a wonderful day and see you in the next tutorial. Ciao, ciao.